Welcome to the Emisump 2405 installation video, filmed at the Emisump test facility in Romeoville, Illinois. Please be sure to watch the entire video before attempting installation. The 2405 system ships in four boxes when purchased with batteries. Upon delivery, you should have the pump, inverter, cables, an owner's manual, video instructions, and the optional batteries. Some typical tools for installation are an adjustable wrench, tape measure, screwdriver, and a saw. To begin, install the first battery on the left side of the battery box with the negative terminal in the back of the box. The back is the side with the hole. Then, install the second battery, this time with the positive terminal at the back of the box. Insert the quick connect leads through the circular hole in the back of the battery box. First, connect the positive lead with the supplied battery bolt. Then, connect the negative lead. Simply hand tighten the bolts first, then use a wrench to ensure a secure connection. Install the fuse link between the batteries with the supplied battery bolts. There is not a positive or negative side, so simply install it with the fuses up. Again, hand tighten it first and then use a wrench to ensure a secure connection. Place the lid on the battery box. Then, place the inverter on the box. Be sure the circuit breaker on the back of the inverter is in the off position. Now plug the power cord into the back of the inverter and the wall outlet. The outlet must be properly grounded and dedicated solely to the pump system. Plug the quick connect from the inverter into the quick connect for the batteries. Turn the circuit breaker on the back of the inverter to the on position. The system will now power up and run through diagnostics. When you first turn on the inverter, it may indicate low battery power. The power will begin to rise as the system tests itself. This process can take about 20 minutes after turning on the inverter. Please refer to the owner's manual for a diagram of the system display information. To install the pump, you will need PVC primer, PVC cement, a section of 2 inch PVC pipe long enough to reach from the pump to the check valve, and a 2 inch male threaded fitting. These items do not come with the system, but can be found at most hardware stores. For ease of installation, you may also need 2 inch rubber couplings with stainless steel clamps. If you prefer, you could use PVC. First, install the check valve if necessary. To install the check valve, cut two 3 to 4 inch sections of PVC pipe and first apply PVC primer, then cement to the pipe and the check valve.
insert the pipes on the top and the bottom of the check valve. Connect the check valve to the discharge pipe with a rubber coupling. Tighten the stainless steel clamps to form a watertight seal. Thread the fitting into the pump discharge. Be sure to screw it in tightly and use a pipe wrench if necessary. Now, measure from the bottom of the pit to some point on the check valve to get an approximate measurement of the new discharge pipe. This will leave the pipe a little longer than we need, but we will cut it down in a future step. Transfer your measurement and cut the pipe. Place the cut pipe into the fitting on the pump. Do not apply primer or cement at this point. By holding the handle of the pump, place the pump and pipe into the pit to get an accurate measurement of the discharge pipe. Mark the pipe about a half an inch short of the bottom of the check valve, then remove the pump from the pit again using only the handle to lift the pump. Remove the discharge pipe and cut it at the new mark. Apply primer and cement to the pipe and the fitting, then install the pipe. Next, install the switch on the discharge pipe. If you're using this system as a backup in conjunction to another primary pump, install the backup pump switch at a point higher than the primary pump switch. Now you can place the pump into the pit. Secure a rubber coupling to the discharge pipe to connect the system. Tighten the stainless steel clamps to ensure a watertight connection. Plug the pump into the piggyback switch outlet, then plug the pump and switch into the inverter. Be sure water from the drain isn't falling directly on the switch, inhibiting its operation. The installation is now complete. Please give us a call at 1-800-844-2713 or refer to your owner's manual with any questions or for installation support.